Have you seen one of these before? Because it's pretty awesome. This is a tough gaming 4070 Ti Super, but it's a pretty unique one and a very special one that requires its own motherboard in order to work. This is a rear connect graphics card, which means it has no power cables. So none of that connector nonsense with the adapter cables or the 12 volt high power cables. Instead, it has this little extra connector alongside the PCIe X16 connector which slots into your motherboard and gives you the power. Now you will need a special motherboard for this, like the ASUS Tough Gaming Z790 that you can see here, which has a special slot on it. This BTF motherboard allows you to connect the power connectors on the rear, including the 24 pin motherboard power cable, the eight pin CPU power connectors, and the power cables for your graphics card. So when you combine it with this Tough Gaming GPU, you can end up with a really clean design that I'll show you in a second. As you'll see when you look at the motherboard next to the top PCIe X16 slot, you have a much smaller slot right below this little lever here, which in itself can be used to easily release the GPU. This means that the graphics card just slots into the motherboard and there's no need for any cabley mess. Combine these two and you can get a particularly nice looking setup. Not just because the GPU and the motherboard look nice, but also because it ends up with a very clean finish with no cables in the front, apart from a CPU fan header at the top, which you can barely see. You can see the finished product here inside the Corsair 6500X, which I've built recently, and you'll see it ends up looking pretty magnificent. Now, as I've shown, you can release the GPU really easily with that little latch there. So if you need to take it out, you can. But the basic installation for this is really straightforward. You slot in your motherboard into the case. Obviously, you'd have to have a case that will actually work with, like this Corsair case, because not all cases support BTF reconnect motherboards. And then you can ditch the standard cables that you'd normally need to plug into the graphics card. So instead of having to plug a 12 volt high power connector into your GPU, you plug it into the back of the motherboard instead. So there's three eight pin PCIe power connectors at the back or a 12 volt high power connector. So you have the choice depending on what power supply unit you're using. If you're lucky enough to have a 12 volt high power connector, then you can just plug that in and make the most of it that way. Obviously this means the cables are hidden away at the rear and you'll end up just tidying back there instead. And then the front, looks really clean so obviously all of these cables are plugging in there and you have to find a case that's actually good for this and it does require a bit more effort at the back to cable tie to make sure the cable's out of the way this is my experience with a number of these style of cases now you have to do a lot more effort cable tidying than i would normally do so there's a bit more effort and there are some other things to think about as well which i've covered in separate videos but then you end up with a really clean looking pc at the end of it a much nicer build than your average one and a setup that looks particularly good. There are some other things to bear in mind, of course. You can't vertically mount your GPU now with this style of GPU because the bracket wouldn't work. You haven't got any power connectors to connect up to it, so that's one downside. But if you want it in this standard format anyway, which frankly is probably better for cooling, you can do it and you end up with a really nice system. Check out the links in the description to find out more. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.